Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another video. A little bit odd and strange this one's going to be, but I'm doing it for the hell of it. Uh, a friend of mine was like, dude, what's your rig look like? Because they want to know what my rig looks like. So um, I never do like videos about my room because my room is kind of sensitive and I really don't want people knowing what's in my room. But uh, I'm going to do a couple sections of my room here on camera for you all today. Uh, starting with the Mac Pro. So uh, let me just flip this over here. Here is the uh, the editing station itself, the Mac Pro, three monitor display, 23 inch, a 24 inch, and a 21 inch monitor. This is an Asus monitor. I have a video in my channel with an unboxing of that. This is a 24 inch Sceptre, I believe that's how it's pronounced now. Scepter or Sceptre. And there's also a video on that unboxing. And this video, I got this before I got any of these monitors, so. That's just an old uh, Westinghouse monitor. Uh, below here we have the Apple Pro keyboard and the Mighty Mouse. There's an unboxing for this video as well. Check out that video, uh, SD card. Uh, behind here, what I have here for my speakers is a Logitech set of really cheap, decent quality uh, speakers here. And uh, it's controlled by this little pinwheel, which you turn on here. And that turns on the speakers. This was actually a very good set, which I have um, hidden back here behind. Uh, well, there's my triple, and uh, two little external hard drives I use, which are um, both 60 gigabyte uh, small drives that just store some little bit of video data in there. But that's the, uh, the subwoofer for the that Logitech set, and that's sitting right there. Uh, underneath of all that, I have two other hard drives. Uh, right here is the. Um, is a, I believe it's a w, uh, OWC drives. Yes, these are two Firewire 400 um, hard drives, IDE configurations, 250 gigabytes. Uh, this one, unfortunately, is broken. I need to get a new hard drive for it, but this one works, and that's what I have. I just have the other one there for, for now, it's just because it makes it look even and symmetrical, and I'm very OCD about that. So, so this is my setup sitting right here. So what's a, uh, oh, by the way, Logitech webcam, which I filmed a lot, a lot of early videos on that because I did not have an HD camera. So uh, this little video camera, there's also an unboxing for that as well on my channel. Please look it up. If you're looking for a decent webcam to chat with people, this is a, uh, ooh, let's get focused here. It's an awesome little camera, little gizmo I got there for you. It's, uh, that, that will also be on my channel. Uh, so let's go over here <laughs> to the, uh, the setup. This is where I have my charging station for all my items. I have an iPhone 4. I have two boxes because my brother had one. I just took his box. I have my iPhone 4. Oh boy, I don't want people to see in that. Uh, yeah, I have my iPhone 4 charging here with a OtterBox case on it, which I have conveniently stored my IDs in using a little... It's a rubber OtterBox case they used to sell. I don't know if they still sell it. But it has, uh, I cut little slits in the bottom and I have my school ID in there so that I can just swipe, you know, never forget my ID. I have the iPad original right there. iPad Air in the charging station. And now uh, we go over here, we'll have the, uh, the beast of the home. Uh, let's get this out of the way. These are uh, little jokes my friends got me, you know, triples from Star Trek. Uh, little fur balls. He made, <laughs> he, he made one, I don't know how he did it, and then he bought this one on the internet and he like, Put them inside of my house one day. It was pretty funny, but uh, I just kept them around because they're pretty, they're pretty, uh, pretty hilarious. Uh, so uh, over here we have the Mac Pro 2006. Have an unboxing video of that and an upgrade series, as well as many, many videos about this little bastard. Uh, but let's get on top of what's on top first. So on top of it we have the I Apple Airport Extreme. I think this is the 2011 model, if I'm not mistaken, and. Uh, this thing's been uh, this thing's been running pretty good, I gotta say. Uh, we have another one in the house that runs the other half of the house. We have two of them on a extended wireless network. And uh, right underneath of that, we have the um, Mini Stack Classic one terabyte. I will be uh, changing the drive out of there soon with a four terabyte drive at some point because uh, this thing does not hold up. It's completely full. <laughs> My backup drive, and I've had video files sitting. Waiting to be backed up for months. Yeah, that's not good, but uh, I'm waiting for that time to come to buy that drive, and the time is coming, so we'll see. 
So uh, let's get down to the Mac Pro. This is the thing that everybody loves my channel for, apparently. And uh, I'm going to be careful here not to pull wires because uh, everything back here in the wire mismanagement is uh, pretty tight. But I can get the door off if you slide it out nice and gently and not yank any wires. So uh, let's, get, let's get going here. I'm going to pop this sucker open off the back. Door comes off. Here we go. Door is off. So in here we have the uh, 2006 Mac Pro, which I bought last, no, three years ago now, two or three years ago. Uh, I've done many, many videos of upgrades on this bastard, and um, if you want to take a look at those videos, I do do urge you to take out take a look at my channel. Everything is on there. Every single thing I've done to this computer is on there, whether it be upgrades or uh, setting up the uh, computer back when I upgraded it to Lion and then put Windows on it. So everything's on there, you just need to check it out. So let's give a little overview of this thing. I'm going to unplug the computer first so I don't give myself an electrical shock. Because I've been known to do stupid stuff like that before in the past. So here we go. Right here we have, uh, well actually we'll start with the hard drives. Actually we'll start up here. Up here. Get this out properly. I have two uh, DVD burners and writers and readers these were uh, these are stock Apple ones. see it's got the Apple logo there from Sony they came with the computer obviously and when the person I bought it from put that order in they obviously ordered two of these DVD burners as added benefit so there you go pop that back in it's pretty cool this is what I love about the Mac Pro is how modular it is the new Mac Pro is decently modular but it's not like this one obviously but so here it is a 250 gigabyte SS no sorry Seagate Barracuda another hard drive up here coming out it's a 500 gigabyte Seagate Barracuda same model just different size configuration and finally a one terabyte Western Digital hard drive which I also bought which is also a very nice drive oh one more drive to come out is a uh, my Windows drive is a 320 gigabyte S Seagate Barracuda, so I have three Seagate Barracudas and one Western Digital. This will be, be replaced with another one terabyte hard drive, the one from in here when I get the four terabyte, and that will be uh, the new rig, which a video might be coming out about that soon, as well as a uh, new Mac Pro might be on its way. It's a little dusty in here. All right, so what's getting to here? Uh, I don't know if you can see that very well, but right here is my uh, wireless card which I put in there and there is a video tutorial on how to install this wireless card in most Mac Pros because the uh, the uh, Mac Pro is relatively the same for several models and the insert process is exactly the same for all those Mac Pros so it's a uh, one size fit all type of thing over here we have the Radeon no this is a Nvidia card that came with it it's about 216 megabytes of VRAM it's kind of trashy but I just keep it in there for the uh, extra monitors so that it can run the uh, the other displays that are just going to be running like websites and stuff nothing too crazy that's that's this thing's not crunching the main data but uh underneath of it is the Radeon 5770 video on that as well on my channel that's my main card running my main displays that's crunching all the data and everything so uh that's good right there underneath of this for the final little unveiling here is the uh is my RAM cards uh yeah, uh, these things are pretty cool what I got here. I got 12 gigs of RAM. I originally bought this thing with four, I believe. And on eBay, someone was selling like eight gigs for like 60 bucks for a limited time. And I bought those sticks, which are these guys right here. They are four two gigabyte sticks. And uh, it's been running really well. I've had them for about two years now. And... There's a video on how to upgrade that in there, too. It's really cool. Those sticks I got, which were really cheap. Uh, I'm running out of space on my hard drive here, on my camera card, so I'm going to uh, dump this video onto the Mac Pro, and then I'll have a video of Mac Pro on, give you a little tour around the Mac Pro, and then I'm going to give you a little, little, little show you of what I've got, not technology-based in this room. So, I'll be right back. All right, so we are back. Um, if anybody wonders how I get the uh, the video off of my um, camera here, what I do is I take the SD card. Here's a spare SD card I have. I have a four gigabyte one as well. I can't really find that at the moment. And then I plug it into this iFi uh, SD card reader, and then 
to the front boss on my Mac Pro, which is the fastest that is unused, and boom, I get the video. Uh, this came with the 4 gigabyte Wi-Fi wi wi card I have. My dad's camera he uses it for, but I use it for video sometimes. So here she is, full working, Mac Pro 2006, running Lion. Beautiful machine, if you're looking for a quick editing machine, this is the one to use because I've been pumping out YouTube videos for three years now on this bad boy, and uh, now that I've upgraded my setup to HD, she runs like a butte. Uh, if anybody's curious what kind of stuff I use, I use the um, Final Cut Pro 7 here, which you see, and I've been using um, the Apple ProRes codex for all my imports and exports, so it's been working very well ever since I made that upgrade. It's been working for me. Uh, I just want to show you guys this. This is uh, someone... This is all the boxes I've had from Apple products from years, and I, I, I'm not a big collector. I'll get these out of here, my Peter Frampton tickets. Woo! Great concert, by the way, back when that was running. <laughs> but uh, I heard that the... Like, back to this. This is this. Uh, people are like, oh, you're such a nerd. You got boxes of Apple stuff. Well, I've... They were just sitting in the basement. I've always known that save boxes to sell the stuff that you have, so... I've kept all the boxes. I'm like, you know what? This looks pretty cool. I just set this up. So I set this up. I think it's this floppy disk down here. Uh, stuff like this. Like, these are Apple $500 gift cards. That, you know. <laughs> you, you're never going to see those. Those are rare. So I could probably sell those one day. And Apple Classic Mouse for the old Mac Classic I had before we had to throw it out because it was leaking uh, acid everywhere because the batteries exploded or something. <laughs> Whatever it was, like, like see, I got it like my my three G at my three my dad's three G, my dad's iPhone five, my dad's iPad two, iPad two, uh, iPhone four, Apple Airport Extreme, Airport Express, my original Nano, which I have to find that thing. That's pretty cool. iPhone five S right here. I have my copy of Aperture, Final Cut Pro Studio, iLife 04, which I found in a box somewhere. My original iPad. Like, all this good stuff. I mean, down here. Moving on. Over here is my uniform of my stack of freshly worn clothes. Oh, God, I love this thing. Nationals, baby. So here's my, uh, you might have seen this in the background a few times. It just kind of shines because the light just reflects right off of the uh, metallic surface. With all these metals. So uh, oh, let's go down the line. So let's start with uh, my freshman year last year. Here's my county's medal. Atlantic County High School Championship won that last year, the freshman eight. This year we have the... Uh, Atlanta County Junior 8 Championship, we won the Millar Family Cup, which is our coach's family cup. His, our coach, both of our coaches actually, uh, they're Millars and they, we got their cup back, so we're happy about that. Silver at the state championship, a uh, tough race, beat out St. Augustine by like .8 or something crazy. They were tough races back when we, before we had our stride and we figured out what we were doing this year. Uh, bronze at the PSRA, which is the Philadelphia City Championships, which I showed you the picture of that. Silver this year in the Junior 8 to the same crew that we got Silver at States, but funny story about this was the day after Stotesbury, and that crew that won did not go to Stotesbury final, so we raced an extra race, and uh, also our crew went to prom the day before, <laughs> so there was no sleep. We were running on literally three hours of sleep, half our boys. Last year we got gold in the Stotesbury Cup Regatta, freshman 8 right there, 2013. Beautiful little medal there. One of my most cherished events in my life. And the cream of the crop. The proof that we are the supreme crew in the country is the Junior 8 medal that we got at the SRA Nationals, which stands for Scholastic Growing Station of America, which handles all school races here in the United States. And you get a patch right there. That's nice. A nice rowing hat. Oh, this was our, uh, our school's rowing camp, <laughs> uh, which was actually, I consider that to be a real regatta because it was uh, basically a seat race for the actual season. And, uh, was stroking the boat that won, so, and then most valuable rower trophy they gave you, so, which actually does mean something to me because that means I was one of the most valuable rowers out of a pack of the most valuable rowers in the in the country right now, so um, it means something to me. There's an old landline I don't use anymore, but it's still there. It just looks cool, whatever. <laughs> so that's uh, that's that's it. Just wanted to go over that because people were asking, what's the glint in the back? Like, oh well, you know, for metals. So this is my setup. Any questions, feel free to ask. There will be more videos on the way. So, yeah, this is the setup here. Mac Pro 2006, more videos to come. Look forward to it. I am not gone. Just taking a little break to be able to build up to my stash over there. So, uh, 
Please like and subscribe if you like this video. More to come. Stay tuned.